We're being joined by Professor Akinsheye George, the chairman of the Center for Social uh, Legal Studies. Thank you so much for joining us on News Night. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I mean, one wonders why this case has lingered for so long, 10 years. Isn't that what uh, the Administration of Criminal Justice Act was supposed to cure in the first place? Yes, 10 years um, seems um, long. Mm -hmm. However, we have to look at the facts. We have to look at the circumstances that led to the 10 years. You know, we, 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 it is um, commonly said that justice delayed is um, justice denied. denied. At the same time, justice hurried is also justice denied. So there has to be a balance. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Constitution talks about trial within a reasonable time. So for us to know whether this case that lasted for 10 years has been unreasonably delayed, we've got to look at uh, the whole gamut of facts. Mm -hmm. For example, when after the arraignment, mm -hmm. were the witnesses available? You know, and that's a big gap that we have in the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, you know, which we are trying to rectify now. We do not have effective pre-trial case management system which ensures that before trial commences, all, the, all, all concerned are ready. The prosecution is ready with its witnesses, and the witnesses are going to be available. And then provision is made for the witness to be able to come to court. They are assisted by law. The law provides that witnesses should be assisted. They should, their transportation should be paid. Oh, yes, that's what the law provides for. But the provision is not being implemented. So witnesses are not very keen, you know, on coming to court to testify. You know, so we need to have in place effective pre-trial case management system so that right. before a case goes to court, we are, you know, we are ready to proceed to trial. We are ready to conduct the trial. Not after mm. arraignment, we start looking for the witnesses. Mm. You know, so these are some of the challenges that we, the, some of the gaps that we have. And, and these the gaps, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm coming from where uh, Ungozil left off, uh, these gaps uh, must be looked into because uh, apart from what we've just seen, uh, that is one of the reasons some people will say, uh, let's go to court, uh, knowing full well that it, it, just, uh, it just might be forever. Mm. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Because the, our criminal justice system or our justice system is, is leading mm -hmm. with too many gaps, too many deficiencies, which must be addressed. We are looking at the, 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 the court itself, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. You know, because the judge is the supervisor, is the, is the, is the, is the one who controls the system. What, if, what if the capacity of the judge, the competence, the capacity of the judge is very important. So we need to ensure that those who appoint to sit on the bench are competent. They're able to use um, um, technology. Mm. It, in this day and age, the great majority of our courts still take notes in long hand. You, are, you have 20, 50, 20, 30, 40 cases listed. You know, and you want to take um, two, three, four parties each day, and then you take notes in long hand. It is embarrassing. We must, as a matter of urgency, if we're going to be serious about the justice system, put in place digital system which enables the judge just to sit back, observe proceedings, and everything is recorded. Right. And by the end of the hearing, transcripts are available. Mm. You know, and the recording system is backed up in the, in, 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 you know, on, in the internet or in the cloud. You know, so that it cannot be manipulated by anybody, by a secure system. We have local, uh, local softwares mm. which can do this, but they're not deployed. Unfortunately, let's talk about terrorism and, of course, uh, the kidnapping uh, case itself. Yes. The 20-year sentence, is it fitting for the crime that, I mean, they've been uh, charged with? And I'd like to get your opinion. In spite of the, you know, rising cases of terrorism, I mean, everywhere in the country, there are very few, uh, you know, uh, arrests being made. What do you think could be responsible for that? Few arrests being made. For few convictions. Few, really? few, few convictions. Yes. It's not only in terrorism cases that few convictions have been made. Generally, the level of conviction level is very low in our court system. Mm. And this is because there are too many bottlenecks. And I've told you the major one of the major bottlenecks is lack of pre-trial case management, lack of witness, lack of witnesses. Mm. 
The witnesses don't want to come to court. People don't want to uh, cooperate with the law enforcement agencies. And sometimes, justifiably so. You, you volunteer evidence, you support the law enforcement agencies, yeah, you know, and, 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 and then you are the information about you is disclosed. And then you become an object. Even more vulnerable. More, you, be, you, are, you know, you are exposed. Mm. You become more vulnerable. Mm. In the uh, other crimes, your criminal justice system appears to work very well. It's one of the reasons is because there's cooperation between the public providing information and support for law enforcement. But here, people don't, uh, people don't want to provide support for reasons that you and I know, mm. for law enforcement. You know, so the public also has a part to play right. in ensuring that law enforcement is efficient. You know, but what do they get in, 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 in mm. you know, in And I asked you the uh, previous yes. question, the 20-year sentence, is it? The 20-year right. yeah. sentence Considering that they've been in detention for in custody for about 10 years. Yes, and that will be How subtracted. That, okay. that will be subtracted. The amount of time spent in detention mm. will be subtracted from the sentence, you know, from the term of imprisonment right. imposed by the court. Mm. You know, um, 20 years, I mean, that's within the provision of the law. law. Mm. That's within the provision of the law. The judge is well guided by the provision of the law. They did, there was no uh, life lost in this particular case. You know, right. if if life had been lost, of course, it would have been either manslaughter or murder. Mm. And the punishment would have been either be capital punishment or life imprisonment. You know, but in this case, uh, it was a case of kidnapping. These people were arrested. So the range of the sentence is within the provision of the law. Right. We'll have to say thank you so much for joining us. Professor Akinshe George, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.